Hello, my name is Ivan Taylor, and I'm from Policy Dynamics in Ontario, Canada. And I'd like to talk to you today about some work that uh, myself and a, a number of, call of my colleagues have been doing over the last couple of years on uh, institutional change to control corruption. Uh, and uh, today we're going to apply the model to Ireland. Uh, we built this model so it, it would be apl applicable to any country in the world. Uh, my colleagues are Aman Ula, uh, Mark Sandoval, and Siraj Kool. So we're going to talk about the institutions that we looked at in the model, uh, and the stock and flow diagrams of the model, and uh, control of how we used uh, the institutional change to control corruption. So here's uh, the institutions that we looked at. Uh, there were two types. There was governance and development institutions. Under the governance institutions, there was control of corruption, voice and accountability, political stability, rule of law, government effectiveness, regulatory quality, and control of organized crime. And under the development uh, institutions, there was economic openness, government expenditure, control of inflation, GDP growth, GDP per capita, and control of inequality. These, uh, these institutions were connected to each other as shown here. Uh, and we can see uh, a number of positive uh, reinforcing feedback loops involved in the governance institutions connections. And this is the relationships between the development institutions uh, and corruption. And again, you can see a number of reinforcing loops here as well. Uh, this is the complete model with both the uh, uh, development uh, in blue and the governance in yellow and control of corruption in the center of the picture. So now we'll get into the stocks and flow diagram. So each of these institutions was modeled uh, as a stock where we had a flow uh, of changing this institution. So in this case, we're talking about control of corruption and changing it over time. And we had this idea that uh, the government of the day would set a target for the control of corruption. Uh, and, and then that target would be modified by progress that was uh, uh, conducted in other institutions. So in this case, we can see that there was a target control of corruption set by the government of the day. And this was modified by progress in these four other institutions, control of organized crime, uh, voice and accountability, control of inflation and control of income inequality. So, um, so then that leads to a, a, a target, and and which is uh, which is maybe a gap between the actual value of control of corruption and the target value, which is closed over time, and then we have a situation that uh, we calculate the progress in control of corruption. Uh, based on the current value and the initial value. And then we use this progress in control of corruption uh, to influence other institutions in, in the feedback loop system. So we collected data uh, from the World Bank, uh, the International Monetary Fund, and the World Economic Forum. Uh, and uh, this data was from uh, 1996 to 2019, uh, and it was based on we we the bit the, the numbers were based on a, a lot a number of different scales, but we converted it all to a, a quality scale between zero and one, where zero was very poor quality and one was very high quality, and then we used the historical data to calibrate the model, and then using the calibrated model we made projections into the future. So here's an example calibration uh, of control of corruption for Ireland uh, between 1996 and 2020. And so you can see that uh, the model tracks the actual values. The model 
in pink tracks the actual values in blue fairly fairly well. And 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 so we did we did this calibration for all of the of the 13 institutions. Here is the projections, and we see that we have uh, the data from 1996 to 2021, and then we have projections into the future uh, till 2026. And so um, you can see that uh, the projections uh, are, 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 are trending downward in a lot of ways. Um, notice here, this is the blue, blue the blue diamonds is the control of corruption. And you can see that the control of corruption is, is pretty good in Ireland, but it is slightly trending downwards. And other institutions are trending downwards as well. So uh, one of the things we could do with this model is we could look at effort to control corruption by investing in improvements in these institutions that, that are interrelated with, with control of corruption. So uh, when, we, when we looked at the effort distributed amongst uh, the, the various institutions, we found that, that the four institutions stood out as, as places, uh, good places to invest effort. And so we have 27% uh, 20, of the effort would be devoted to control of corruption directly, but other institutions would also be uh, invested in to improve control of corruption and improve the institutions in general. So 37% of the effort would be would be used, utilized in, in improving government effectiveness, 5% in regulatory quality, and 30% in rule of law. So when we apply this extra effort to uh, control corruption, we get uh, these results uh, for the projections. And we can see that now all of the institutions are trending upwards. Uh, and, and in particular, control of corruption has changed direction and is, is now moving, uh, moving in, a, in a good direction. Here's the uh, projections in detail. So we can see uh, the institutional quality here with no uh, change in policy uh, and the institutional quality with effort expended to control corruption. And we can see you know, quite, a great, quite a great improvement in a number of those institutions, uh, in fact, in all of the institutions. And, uh, and so uh, we see that basically by, uh, by investing in controlling corruption, we can improve all of the institutions across the board. So uh, just uh, as a conclusion, uh, we, we developed a, a system dynamics model uh, of the institutional relationships in a country. And then we use this model to diagnose institutional quality trends. And for Ireland, the projections suggest unfavorable trends in the near future. Um, however, uh, we could we could also look at optimally, optimally allocating effort to control corruption, and we found that when we did uh, try to try to apply this effort to control corruption, it would improve the quality of all the institutions in Ireland. Uh, this model can be applied to any country in the world. Uh, I'm not. Uh, particularly uh, picking, uh, picking Ireland as a problem country, uh, uh, but I have applied it to many other countries. And I think this is a useful model for, um, for, uh, for, for, institute, for governments and, and, and policymakers to use to, um, to improve institutional quality. So if you're interested in applying this model to, to your country, you can feel free to contact uh, me at, at this, uh, this email address. Uh, you can also check out uh, my website for policy dynamics uh, shown here. So thank you for your attention, and uh, I hope to talk to you again sometime soon.